Hey everybody, it is Sunday night. It is another video of just the two of us. <laughs> I don't remember any of the other words. You can um, make it if we try. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. It's a talky video. Um, I went to Hollywood Studios yesterday, so surprise, surprise. Um, instead of, uh, in the last few videos since we did the last talky video, we did um, some haunted stuff and some Savannah stuff, and I think, um, it, for the most part, you guys, or at least a lot of the core audience, wasn't necessarily overwhelmingly in love with Savannah stuff, but that's fine. That's kind of, you know, when we asked, like, what do you guys want to see, and some of you guys responded. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, um, we, had, we had some fun Yeah. in Savannah. So if you guys want to check out those videos, obviously you can go back in the catalog. I did see some... Um, responses from folks that said that um, the notifications weren't working so you know just, I'm, I'm not that guy that goes into every video and at the start says like if you're looking for more of our stuff just check out this blah 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 but if you guys are interested and you want to see like when we do upload stuff um, and I'm, every time I do this I see like in the thing like this ridiculous tattoo I hate that tattoo <laughs> um, but um, you, can click, too. <laughs> you can click you can click notifications with a little bell so that you know when we upload things but we went to savannah mm -hmm. um and uh we had um a, a quite a bit of cocktails in savannah just a few yeah <laughs> so we want to go back to savannah again um next month maybe not to um, drink so much though yeah so the, fun, the here's the here's the fun thing because i think you know pretty much like everybody else in orlando uh, the orlando vlogosphere um, put out videos and talked about COPPA and you know if you don't know what COPPA is it's the the Child uh, Online Privacy Protection Act which um, for the most part um, with regard to YouTube videos if you guys are doing general content or content in general uh, that's geared towards kids you need to identify that material like it's for kids uh, because you can't have targeted ads for kids so mm -hmm. what Google parent company of YouTube is basically uh, asked everybody to self-designate videos that are uh, geared towards kids so that they don't put um, ads, targeted ads, on those uh, videos because they want to have um, things designated um, appropriately because you can end up getting like fined $42,000 per video for on the creator side um, if you don't designate things the right way. So long story short, with all of the, the pieces with them um, wanting... Um, to have things not family friendly so that they could put targeted ads on things. We do the videos in um, Savannah and the majority of them either like um, haunted stuff like we did the Sorrel Weed House back in Thanksgiving time period but we uploaded mm -hmm. that recently and then we go out and we pretty much get um, wrecked when <laughs> we're walking around the streets of Savannah. Oh my goodness. And all of those videos continue to have um, ads on it but now the last video that we did, or that we uploaded, at the time that we're shooting this, at least, in Savannah, is when we went to the Bonaventure Cemetery, um, which is home of um, Gracie Watson, the spirit of Gracie Watson, and the remains of Gracie Watson, as well as um, mm -hmm. Corinne Lawton, two well-known um, hauntings in Savannah area and everything. But the ironic thing about things is YouTube demonetized that video because uh, it wasn't ad friendly, so you you know you're gearing things towards kids, not ad friendly. Go to the Bonaventure Cemetery, do the spooky stuff, um, but not overtly, no blood, no gore, no nothing no. like that. Not ad friendly. Walking along the streets of Savannah what while you're completely you shit faced, that's ad friendly. Oh yeah. So let that be a lesson to anybody that's <laughs> starting out on YouTube. <laughs> Don't steal my shtick. <laughs> so. In any event, we did get some viewer mail, and I'm not going to show um, um, people's names here. This is from uh, Felipe. Felipe is a longtime uh, friend of the channel and friend in real life. In, yeah, in general. Um, <laughs> his cards are very well sealed, and I'm going to open this ever so carefully. carefully so yes. this came after we did our belated Christmas card video, and his cards are well known for one thing, <laughs> and that's... The fact that it's the gift that keeps on, on giving, giving for, for the for entire months year. And months and months. <laughs> so, um, 
I'm being very careful here, Felipe. <laughs> oh, that is so cool, Chewbacca. It's the really card cool. is gorgeous. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm hip to your ways here, though. <laughs> so we're not fully opening this and having things go everywhere. So. Uh it, well, it's impossible. Yeah, well, there. Uh, it, yeah. Already <laughs> it already went. It already went. So, for you guys to see, I don't know how well you can yeah, see. Yeah, you know, can see. There's literally <laughs> glitter, <laughs> confetti. <Star> confetti. <laughs> everywhere. Oh everywhere. And although I was being careful, it's all over the floor already. So, <laughs> I'm not going to read your letter out loud. Um, but the card itself... Dear Kyle, Mary, and Jess, Happy New Year. May the Force be with you. Hope you had wonderful holidays and a great end of the year. All the best for 2020 with the vlog and everything you got going on. Hopefully I'll see you around soon. Cheers, Felipe. And um, Felipe, I don't necessarily call out like all of our friends in videos, but he is one of the most um, salt-of-the-earth people. Nicest, oh, yeah. genuine person that... <laughs> you'd ever meet. I'm going to read your letter in a little bit off, ca <laughs> off camera. Dude. Sorry. For real. This is the best like, though. The, oh, the, 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 little, the little glitter is the craziest. So there, there's like microscopic pieces of glitter as well as like variable <laughs> size star. It's all over my hands. He must, he must do this like Look at this. way early. <laughs> it's like it's everywhere. Even when you try not to have it everywhere, so. Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. I love you, Felipe. You make it very hard to love you. I'll remember you the entire year while I sit on our, our glitter guest couch here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, it's a lost cause. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get some memory. Of and so we did get another back. envelope from Michael in Minnesota. I'm not going to show you um, his address here, but it's fragile. <laughs> so it must be, it must be good. And um, by the way, even though you marked it clearly fragile, um, it still came with yes. this giant rip in it. So they wanted to see that was. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah. I just did this to myself. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure the envelope has asbestos. <laughs> So, oh, do you have a knife or a scissor? Um, I do have a scissor right there. <laughs> and for the change of scenery, we usually always have like the we did this like mail and stuff on our couch in the living room mm. that has this ridiculously huge picture of the beach, the beach, and a crashing wave and stuff like that because I needed to be reminded all the time of like peaceful stuff and the reason why. I love the beach, but um, this is our guest room, which we've shown on video before with some of our collectibles. We've called it the Paul IOM Geek Room. <laughs> I right. call it the second den. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we already have one we den. We double envelope this. So. <laughs> I oh wow, it's wrapped very well. Before I go into any of the stuff that's in here, um, whoa, we've got uh, a, a letter. Oh my, getting old. Got a letter from Michael. Thought you could you thought you thought you could add these to your awesome memorabilia collection. I've been a subscriber for a few years and I love your channel. Take care, Michael. So I'm about to like either cry or have some other bodily functions, but this is some what? unbelievable things based off you of what was be written. Kidding me. So oh my god. Oh my God. Wow. So, oh my God. This, let's see if we can focus in on each of these things. I'll get out of the way. No. <laughs> Mike Evans, wow. flawless rookie 
autographed card. I'm going to zoom in all right. There you go. Holy this crap. is unbelievable. So we have a running joke in the family that ever since Mike Evans was drafted. The kiss of death. And I say like, <laughs> you know, Mike Evans, my, my all-time favorite Buccaneers player is Mike Allstott. Mm -hmm. Hands down, the A-Train is my favorite. But my most, my favorite recent Buccaneer that I have his jersey, which I always give the kiss of death. So every time that I buy a player jersey, they either get hurt to the point where they can't play, or they're on. they get traded. Yeah, they're off the team. So Mike Evans. It even Evans, happens when I buy him a jersey. Yeah, it's my, not even. It's just him. He Mike Evans, him. my favorite. I cannot believe this. This is amazing. Thank you so much. So we got Mike Evans, flawless rookie autographed. The next one, unbelievable. I mean, it, it is just. This is Victor Hedman, Upper Deck, the Cup Rookie Autograph Patch. Hedman. Wow. That is incredible. I am stunned. And then last but not least, actually one of my favorite movies. So, this is really funny because I this is one of those movies that I think I got into um, I love Tim Burton and um, I had um, the, the original movie this was based off of but then the, the movie and I don't, I'm not sure that Mary watched it initially until we were together mm -hmm. but this is Lisa Marie Celebrity Cuts Ed Wood autograph so the light on it so cool I am blown away Wow thank you so <laughs> much Wow I mean holy cow three things on that look at this I got more glitter and stuff <laughs> you, talk about hitting three things on the head I yeah I, you can I, 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 definitely Wow thank you I, I, I always feel like there's a there's a few things and I, I think this is stuff that you know Mary is like the my best friend of all time and probably my greatest mm -hmm. therapist so I have this neurosis I believe of just always believing that I'm never good enough about anything or mm -hmm. why why does why should somebody be interested in me I mean and this went from being a kid to playing music, mm -hmm. to writing, to um, the channel, to anything, to, you know, when it comes time for um, any type of um, holidays, birthdays, anything like that, I always tend to want to, like, over oh, yeah. give or overdo it because I can never understand why anybody would be um, interested in me. And that's very deep for me to say, I think out loud because I never say that to no. anyone and I'm mm -hmm. always um, I hate those types of holidays or these things and that's why I've always been very dissuasive of saying you know to send us things or thinking about things or when you guys send us postcards or mail or anything like mm -hmm. I am truly humbled and blown away that anybody would think of me oh yeah so I, I can only say thank you again so <laughs> it's very 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 much appreciated um i before i was coming in here to open it i was going to say like hey look what i got for myself <laughs> <laughs> no one sent me this <laughs> but the marvel legends um stuff is growing um and we'll have to do another tour in the second den as mary says or a guest room yeah, uh, because the Mar den. marvel stuff is I think we have to really, buy a new house. It's, it's doing <laughs> really, really pretty awesome. Um, we did um, one last thing because I don't want the video to go on forever. There's a couple things like we when we did the last video and everybody when we said we were, stuff that we were planning on doing. We are definitely going to the Rolex 24. So if you guys are going to Rolex 24, we'll mm -hmm. be there um, Saturday afternoon to hang out for a little bit. And I already know that we'll be hanging out with some folks um, like um, Adam. 
formerly of the uh, Palm Beach Happenings and mm -hmm. Jamie. Uh, we'll see you guys out there. Yeah. Um, and uh, anybody else that that's going that the afternoon Saturday is probably it's going to potentially ring, but it'll be the best time I think to uh, be able to say hello and meet up. Saturday night we'll be doing Someone's the. Someone's calling me, but I don't know who. <laughs> this doesn't tell me. Saturday night we'll be doing the um, Taste of Daytona. And the Taste of Daytona is like that upcharge um, type of thing where like all the restaurants around International Speedway have their stuff. It's kind of... The like... Rolex 24 is a very weird thing. It is... Um, it's an awesome race. It's a road course race. It's not NASCAR type cars, although Kyle Busch is driving one of the cars. Mm -hmm. um, it's 24 hours straight. So you have like prototype type cars and you know high end things. Think Ford GTs, um, Ferraris, Porsche, um, those types of of cars. Um, and so there's car fans that go to the thing. But then the Taste of Twenty Four is more of like I think kind of like a dressy type of thing too. So mm -hmm. it's, to me, it's an odd mix. That race is always really odd to me. I think we only started going there a couple of years ago, um, and. The offset of this is that that means uh, since we're going to the Rolex 24, we're not going to Gasparilla this year. So we're taking a year off. We went to Gasparilla the last three or four years. We're not doing it this year. Um, I love Gasparilla, but it, it is a madhouse, and oh I could use <laughs> the, the I could use the year off from deal, dealing with that. Yeah, a little so. bit more um, civilized. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, lastly, we did see two movies today. So today was kind of like Lazy Sunday where um, AMC, we belong to AMC A-List. So when everybody asks, like, you know, how do you go to a movie so much? It's a flat fee of like 20 some odd dollars a month. Um, and you can go to three movies a week, any format. So that means like standard format, uh, 3D, IMAX, IMAX, IMAX 3D, yeah. Dolby, whatever format you want to go see the, any movie in, three, three movies a week. So you figure like two movies you're paying for it or more than uh, mm -hmm. what those movies would cost for you. Yeah, so, and, and, and even if you go once a week, you know, if you go four times a month, that's way, way less spending than, yeah. than you would if you actually had to pay for the movies. And, well, everybody always asks, do I watch certain TV shows or things like that? I don't watch a lot of TV, um, but I do watch a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. And... Um, even like before I met Mary so many years ago, like, you know, I, I went to, Way I went to, ago. I mean, I went to a lot of art house type movies. So when we lived in New York. We were blessed with like mm -hmm. Greenwich village and Tribeca film festival and those types of things. Mm -hmm. And that's really where a lot of my heart was with like smaller movies. I love blockbusters, but I love yeah. independent films. So, um, we went today to go see, um, Jojo rabbit which we missed the first run around, so I came back around again, I think, because it's been nominated mm. for awards. And uh, we saw 1917. And Jojo Rabbit? Oh, it was unbelievably great. Yeah. I don't think that there's anything that, and I always butcher his name now too, like Taika Waititi. I think Taika Waititi. Yeah. He, he's like Midas at this point. And oh, he's unbelievable. The, the rumor is that the next Star Wars movie would be um, his movie oh. that comes out like 2022, I think. Huh. So he, if you don't know and you don't watch The Mandalorian, I've, I've finished The Mandalorian, so it's the one TV. If it's Star Wars TV, I'm going to watch it. So, <laughs> And that goes for cartoons also. Mm -hmm. But um, he also does um, IG-11 in The Mandalorian. So. Oh. And Mary has not finished watching it. She's only halfway through. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, for those that have watched it, um, the not only the first episode, but then getting to the last episode is he is such an amazing job as IG Eleven. Mm. So really, really. But anyway, Jojo Rabbit, awesome. Yes, I was really put off at first. I think seeing the trailers and thinking, you know, like how do you make a movie about Nazis? That, yeah, that and would Hitler, be, and uh, worthwhile to see and. You know, it's it, the movie works. Yeah. For what for what it's worth, it's, um, and the also weird thing is that it's by uh, Fox Searchlight, which is uh, you know Disney. Mm -hmm. So I know there was a struggle with the debate of putting it out, 
you know, after Disney bought Fox, but thankfully they did put it out. It's, 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 uh, it's well done. Yeah, it's definitely it well really worth watching. It really is well done, you know. So, yeah, it doesn't, while it, it seemingly would glamorize um, Nazi culture in World War II era towards the end of World War II, um, it does so in a propaganda-ish way um, to then tell the story and bring things back around. And it has a bit of comedy. It's yeah. very funny in a lot of places. It's <laughs> yeah. very heartwarming. So it's, it's very weird to say that it's a heartwarming Nazi movie. Yes. Oh my God, yes. Very, very, very weird in that, you know, point. Yeah. So the second movie we saw was um, 1917, which is the feel-good movie of the year. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> As I have. And you like that movie too? I did. I did like the movie. Um, it felt like it was long, but it was. I don't want to give anything away, but. Because they don't know the outcome of World War One. No, no. The, the actual situation. Oh yeah, sure. You know? um, it, yeah, it was. It was heartwarming but sad and crazy and just all emotions through the whole thing it i think the movie to me and i'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest here like the, the the i think it's an excellent film i think it's a very boring film at a lot of times but it it, it had me looking at my watch often but <laughs> it was and that's not to say that it's a bad movie i don't want to confuse it's tough to con not confuse the two, right? But cinematically, it's amazing the way that it's shot. Oh and my god! For the and the scenery part, and and all of just where it like it physically, you know, it's like how the hell do you do this? Yeah, for for the better part of extended scenes, and it feels like one long tracking shot. So the movie, it's kind of tracking somebody from behind, and then it comes up and turns around and pulls back away from them, and then mm -hmm. it follows back around again. And to make it seem like it's that one long shot, um, or even if it is that one long shot, yeah, it, it's a, it's done uh, unbelievably. Yeah. Uh, but my takeaway from it also was like because of the way they shot the movie like that, and it's all just one long kind of action scene for a while. It kind of really felt like I was just playing Battlefield, you know, or like a. a it's a first person. A video game. It actually feels like a first person, like video game that you're following along behind. Yeah. So. You know, it does. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be first person if you're following behind. But. You know what I mean. You're, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but yes, it it. But definitely, what we're seeing, I think, you know, the the funny thing is, and I can't. What award show it was? It was just on like the. It took me a second to think about it. The Golden Globes, uh, 1917 won Best Picture uh, Drama at the Golden Globes, which mm -hmm. the I don't necessarily think it's the best picture. So I think it, you know, for once, I think we've pretty much seen like the films that are up for Best Picture this year for the Oscars. But 1970, the thing that I took away from it was the Golden Globes are, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 1917 is a Universal Studios picture which was on the golden globes which is hosted by nbc universal so it was interesting that it won <laughs> best picture that's funny so i'm not sure how it will fare um overall but anyway we're rambling and this was supposed to be a short video mm -hmm. uh, but we're heading back into the week tomorrow is martin luther king day um in america so it's a holiday um although <laughs> not for me not many people i think outside of government uh jobs end up getting the day off, so uh, pretty much like back to work. Um, but in any event, maybe it could be explained why, like we went to Hollywood Studios and uh, it was packed um, yesterday. <laughs> but we want to get over to Epcot as well. Um, and uh, oh, the Festival the, of the Arts. The yeah. Festival of the Farts. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and we still didn't get to Universal for the the, the hash either. Oh, the who hash? Yeah. No. But anyway, <laughs> all things to do. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for listening to us ramble. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to be able to go back and do like a live stream with you guys and everything too. But the last time that we did the live stream, I, I can't remember if it was like WrestleMania time or whatever last year, and we couldn't get it to work right. Yeah. Then 
you pretty much get like I, I, I know I'm a boomer, so you guys can do hashtag boomer We're and not stuff. Boomers. But We're not that old. it's uh, but <laughs> you know, the people immediately were like, "You're so stupid. You don't know how to use the thing." So we stick to this. <laughs> we so are I can stupid edit. when it comes to that. <laughs> so, thank you, Felipe, for the card, and yes. the letter. And thank Michael. you, Michael, for wow, the goodies. This amazing. is unbelievable. Um, and yes, we will find homes for all of these goodies. And we'll take you a tour around the rest of the stuff that we have um, going on here, too, at some point again. So, mm -hmm. in any event, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Bye.